The people loving uh, Elon Musk, he is actually getting rid of Tesla workers who disagree with him and get in his way. Like, that's insane, dude. Like, you're supposed to be the paragon of human freedom and identity, and you're supposed to be this fair and honest guy. And I watched his podcast on Joe Rogan, too. I watched his podcast on Joe Rogan, too, man. Like, he seemed like a really nice person. You know, he seemed like he was a, you know, a really good person, you know. He seemed like he had a lot of self-control, for sure. And he's a genius and all this other crazy stuff that he's inventing and all these other crazy ideas and inventions that he had on the Joe Rogan experience. But it turns out that Tesla CEO Elon Musk has denied allegations in the past that he has a propensity for rage firing people. But a new book tells a different story. I mean, let's be real. Yeah, but like at the end of the day, like him firing people, that's not that bad. I mean, companies fire people all the time. So I don't understand how this is newsworthy. No, I'm being honest. I'm, I'm being I'm trying to be honest here. Wait a second. This changes everything. The book released on Tuesday reveals that Musk developed an atmosphere of fear at Tesla, an environment where the billionaire had a reputation for exploding at top executives and employees on the assembly line alike. So he's creating an atmosphere of fear? People are going to be fearing for their jobs? Now that's something I can't condone. I understand that companies fire people all the time, but making people work in a constant state of fear that's not that 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 that's not acceptable, man. That that's wrong. That's wrong. In two thousand six, the head of Tesla's first roster reveal party, Musk had his head of marketing Jessica Switzer uh, ousted because he was happy with Switzer's decision to spend money on marketing. Higgins said Musk thought his name alone would be enough to incite interest in the vehicle. Yeah, I mean he has a point. Just him tweeting on Twitter is gonna get millions of people. To buy that coin that he's tweeting about. Thou I mean, not millions, like hundreds of thousands, probably something like that. Must threaten to fire another PR, which was later hired to take on the world's to reveal, citing his anger over New York Times story on Tesla that did not mention Musk. So he has like a huge arrogancy about it. Like he has a huge ego, very arrogant, you know, self serving. I mean, that's just normal. Like, Lots of billionaires are arrogant and self-serving. How do you think they became billionaires? <laughs> you know? I was incredibly insulted but embarrassed by the New York Times article. If anything like this happens again, please consider your relationship with Tesla to end immediately on a publication of such a piece. So that tells me that he's using his position as a Tesla, um, you know, as head of the Tesla company, which is what he is, CEO of Tesla. He's using that to manipulate other people around him. He's using that to bully companies around him, which, you know, is wrong. But that's just how it is, man. He, he's, a, he's a piece of shit, basically. That's just what it, that's what it looks like. Uh, Musk's fury caused several executives to leave the company. Um, Higgins, Higgins. Higgins is a whistleblower then, right? Because he's used to work for... Um, who's Higgins? What the fuck is Higgins? Higgins writes that when an employee disagreed with the CEO, they were often fired. That typically does happen in companies. When you disagree with the head of the company, you're going to get fired because you're trying to, um, you're basically questioning his authority. You can't do that with an authority figure. You get, you get made an example of. It's a book. So Higgins wrote this book. Wall Street's Journal, Tim Higgins. Okay. So the title of this video is going to be Whistleblower Tim Higgins Exposes Elon Musk. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, that's a pretty good header to be honest. Um yeah, I mean he's he's he has a short he has a short temper also. You know, as 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 evident in this article, if this article is the truth, then he has a very short temper. But I mean, I don't know, man. He's he's a he's a bit of a crazy person, you know.
But I mean, when you're a billionaire of this level, you're going to be arrogant. You're one of the most richest people on the planet. You're going to be arrogant. You're going to be you're going to be a piece of shit. Just imagine how many people Tesla, Elon Musk had to had to backstab to get to where he is right now. You think that he got to where he is right now just through sheer hard work and talent? Think again, man. Like the world is a very mysterious place, you know. I mean, yeah, it sounds like a fairy tale, but the world is a cutthroat place, you know. It's a very cutthroat place, you know. Business is very cutthroat. It's not it's not nice. Businessmen are not trying to be nice when they're securing deals with other companies. They want to make the best deal for their company. They're looking out for their own self-interests. And typically those self-interests don't align with that other company. So they have to be cutthroat when they're making deals. You know, they have to be willing to step on other people's shoes and disappoint other people, which is typically what businessmen do. I mean, I'm not, like, there's no, I don't have anything against Elon Musk, but he's an asshole. But he had to, but think about it, like, he had to be an asshole because how would he reach the level he's at now if he wasn't an asshole? You think you think you think nice people become billionaires? You think people that are nice and don't want to offend anybody are becoming billionaires? Think again, man. Think again, man. You gotta you gotta fuck over thousands of people to get to that level. Obviously, you know, you can't just be a fucking idiot. You got to have a lot of intelligence too. You got to be able to he I mean, Elon Musk is a genius, you know, for no sense of the term. He's a very very intelligent man. But at the same time, he's very ruthless. And that's I mean, I would expect nothing less, man. There's no way he was going to have a timid uh, personality. He's a billionaire. I mean, every room he walks into, he's the richest man in that room. You're gonna be arrogant. You're gonna be. You're gonna have an air of cultability around you. You're gonna have an air of. You're gonna have a persona. You're gonna have this and that. You're gonna have a bit of swagger toward you. Yeah, I mean, I would expect nothing less, man. Like Elon Musk, he has to be arrogant. How do you expect him to make all those deals, man? The pe- people, people think that these billionaires are gonna fit your your uh, own image of how they are. Perceived, man. You perceive them differently, man. You, obviously, none of us know Elon Musk on a personal level. Even if you watch that podcast for three hours, you still won't really know his personality like that. You know, only the people that work with him, like his executives and the other the other people that are at the top level of Tesla, they probably know him on a personal level. You know, they probably go out to dinner with him and stuff like that, so they know him more on a basic, on a personal level. So, you know, they can, they, they're more equipped to tell us the full story. And apparently Higgins is saying that he's an asshole. And I'm inclined to believe him. 